In 1374, the gravely ill Sultan of Mali fell into a torpor from which he would never recover. His death was the first to be attributed to what would become known as sleeping sickness. Between the 14th and 19th centuries, sleeping sickness became increasingly common. At the end of the 19th century, the first major epidemic struck Uganda and the Congo Basin. Historians believe one million people died. Meanwhile, colonization, which resulted in deforestation, road construction, and population displacements, all contributed to the spread of the disease. In 1901, English biologists Ford and Dutton identified in patients' blood the cause of the disease, a parasite called the trypanosome. In 1903, a British physician, David Bruce, discovered the vector of the parasite the tsetse fly. In 1905, tests were performed on the first treatment, atoxyl, a highly toxic arsenic compound that can cause blindness. At the beginning of the 1920s, colonial medicine attempted to eradicate the disease. Eugène Jameau, a French military doctor and director of the Pasteur Institute in Brazzaville, laid the foundations for what came to be called Jameau's Doctrine, identifying and treating all possible cases to eliminate the reservoir of parasites in humans. Armed with microscopes, he and his mobile teams traveled to the remotest of regions, seeking out patients they then treated with arsenic derivatives. In Cameroon, between 1919 and 1930, Chamo's doctrine brought down prevalence, meaning the percentage of the population with the disease, from 60% to 4%. In 1949, Swiss chemist Ernst Friedheim came up with the idea of combining an arsenic derivative with an antagonist used against arsenic-based gases during World War II. His drug, Malarsoprol, is still used, albeit rarely, in the advanced stage of the disease. In the 1960s, as the colonizers departed from most of the affected countries, interest in the disease declined and the tsetse fly reappeared. An epidemic broke out in 1970 and reached its peak in 1998. Efforts made since have seriously reduced the number of cases, and the World Health Organization has set itself the objective of eradicating sleeping sickness by 2020.